Ready? Okay. <laughs> Where are we going, Sean, with this van full of kids? Uh, we're going to Seabrook, New Hampshire. To Chucky Rose's house for their charity, Chucky's Fight. And what's the charity about? The charity is uh, for uh, opioid addiction and awareness for young people. And you got all these young kids going up here. Yes. How did you do that? How did you inspire them? I got told you we're going, Woody. What did he say? That's what inspired me to go. What? what did he say? Get your dad out of get your dad out of trouble. What inspired you to go, Cole? You Woody. <laughs> okay, there's no pressure. Don't choke. What inspires you to keep boxing? We're gonna remember this for the rest of our lives. Yeah. That you choked. You choked your first interview. It's okay. <laughs> say what you say. That water is about to be cold. The minute we touch that water, we're gonna be running on top My of the water. All right. All right. Who's who is talking about if they don't go in? Who said that? Wait, Come on. All right. All right. All right. you're gonna have to push me. If I don't go in, push me. If I tackle you, don't get it too hard. All right. McFadden, you hear this? These boys are getting ready to go in. We are. How'd you motivate these guys to go in this freezing ass cold ocean, man? Because they're awesome kids, that's uh, why. Wait, what? They're awesome kids. What's what state are we in? <laughs> why did I think we were coming to um Connecticut? I have no idea. What state is this? <laughs> this is Seabrook, New Hampshire. Alright, we're in New Hampshire. I got the state wrong. I'm gonna have to tag that. Yo, I'm here in Seabrook Beach, New Hampshire. We're doing a forward plunge for Chucky's fight. It's freezing out, zero degrees. We got a whole crew of people jumping in the water. Let's go. You ready, Lucas? I guess so. <laughs> Tommy, I love you, man. I love you. I was just, we were just talking about you. I'm fucking crazy. Look at this. Look at, I know. This is, I think this is a little crazy that it's, look at it. It's all this snow. I can't believe. I can't wait to see how beautiful this is. Are you going in? No! <laughs> Tommy. I'm filming. I'm the film guy. They need me to film. This is beautiful. Yeah, you need a film guy. You need a guy that doesn't want to go in. Yeah. I mean, sure, I would go in, but I got to hold the camera. I got to hold the camera, Tommy. Look at this view. The sand's not frozen. Are we ready to do this? Yay! Oh my God. Hey, how are you? That's real cool. How you doing? Woo wee! It feels like 26, the water's 44. Been clean and sober, hope every out there that's trying is doing the same. A special group came all the way from Scranton, Pennsylvania to the Irish Boxing Club. They raised a bunch of money to help us put people in the sober living that may not be able to access or afford it. We thank them for their efforts and um, we're gonna go in and uh, Mr. McFadden, their head coach, Hiding over here. Oh. Oh. We're gonna give a quote and say a little something while we get out. Thanks for joining us and let's make it a great new year. Doesn't look that cold. <laughs> no, that's not what's wrong. No, that was sorry, guys. That was cool. Oh. Uh. We didn't get that twice. I did not get that twice. I did not get that twice.
Everybody ready? ready? All right. We work hard, we train hard. If you have to ask yourself when you're at the gym, if I worked hard enough, you, you work harder. When we get in that ring and that bell rings, it don't mean school's out. That bell means hell. Okay? Merry Christmas, everybody. And let's make it a great new year. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Little Raven, yeah. our youngest fighter. She's only nine years old. She just turned nine. So Olivia, no. Cole, Kyvan, Onyx, ladies, I don't. Uh, Janelle. Janelle. Jamie. Jamie. There's Jose, Edward, and Rod, and my brother Chaz. Thanks. <laughs> my youngest brother. Right. This is my baby brother. He's the biggest of the family. Introduce him to the big boys. <laughs> Who's that guy? Uh, Charles Rosa. My man yes. right here, I've mm. seen him and Tommy <laughs> go at it before. He's awesome, two awesome people. My uncle, Tom the Barm Rosa, and Sean McFadden, absolute legends, man. Legends of boxing, top man <laughs> champions. And my pops back there, Chuck Rosa, and my little brother, <laughs> Lucas. Lucas. Rosa, He's an undefeated amateur fighter right now coming up, and Francis Rose is doing some. Nice. This is a, a family of fighters. There's Tom the Bomb. I'm getting an interview with Tom the Bomb before I leave. I want to talk to him about the last fight with their fatted. <laughs> He's ready to quit. If it was a fight to the death, I'd win every single fight. I really believe that, but, you know, sometimes the judging is not always the case. But if you just believe that, like, that's how you can always keep your confidence going into the next fights, too. It's like, you don't feel like you're really ever lost, you know? And unless you quit. If you quit or something, you know, that's a different feeling. I don't, I don't know what that feels like, but I don't want to find either. out, so. <laughs> that's what I always tell my boys is that, you know, you'll never, never lose a fight because you're not in condition. That's something you can control. You can't control if the guy might be a little quicker than you or takes a rabbit out of the bag and, and you get hit with stuff, but you're not going to lose the fight saying, fuck, I'm tired. You know, right. you can't do that. Right. That's something you can prepare for. Yes. That's, that's the only thing. That's, that's, really a, that's a fist saying. fight yeah. you can win every day, every day. is being prepared, you yeah. know, and uh, as prepared as you can be, and I think that's really important. And I'd be the the lot lot here. Yeah, and I'd be the lot of guys, especially yeah. coming up in the amateurs, like when I just started, because I got a late start. I didn't start until I was 23 years old, my first day in the gym. Like in an actual Formal, like yeah. formal gym, you know. That's crazy. But yeah, like I mean, that's I don't know, you know. Uh, that's great. That's great. That's great for you guys to hear. But but I'm saying I beat a lot of guys. What I was saying though is I beat a lot of guys that were much better than me just mm -hmm. on straight cardio. I just right. got them tired. Right. Man, I was so tired. Like I beat. I, I fought a Muay Thai fight, like it was like for the ISK World Championships, and I was not I was a, more of a grappler at the time when I first started. I was tough as nails, but I didn't know how to throw the kicks. This kid was like a Taekwondo, all these black belt and stuff, and and he told me he's I, I ended up beating him in a split decision, and like oh like the it was like the world title fight for the ISK World Championships, and uh, it was like a five round Muay Thai fight, and he said he was like supposed to be the best and. He ended up being like a glory kickboxing champion. He was one of the best kickboxers of our time at some point, but I beat him in an amateur fight because he got tired, you know? I quit, quit. He didn't quit, but he got tired, and I beat him. You, know? so you, you can beat a guy with much better than you even, so you can always win a fight, you know? You're in better shape, I think. Road work, road work, road work. Road work. <laughs> and all, the, all this stuff helps. Battered hands are all you own This broken heart that's turned to stone Go hang your glory on the wall There comes a time when castles fall And all that's left is shifting in the sand you're out of time, you're out of place Look at your face, that's the measure of a man This coat that fits you like a glove These dirty streets you learn to love So welcome back, my long lost friend You've been to hell and back again And God alone knows how you cross that span Back on the beat, back to the start Trust in your heart, that's the middle of a man That's the man of a man 
while you can. 